my channel, Christy Spot. If you're new here, welcome. Please consider hitting the subscribe button below and don't forget that notification bell so you can receive alerts anytime I upload a new video. My name is Christy and I enjoy creating cute, inexpensive DIYs that are fun to do. For today's video, we'll be creating three coastal type DIYs with items that I did purchase from the Dollar Tree. So friends, let's start crafting. So to start this first project, we're going to be using a canvas that I purchased from Dollar Tree. We're actually going to remove the canvas part of it and just use the outside frame. I'm also going to be using these large popsicle sticks that I did get from Walmart, but I'm going to stack them up in a row on top of each other and then I'm going to take some more popsicle sticks and glue them onto the back so that they all form in a row as one solid unit. Now I'm going to go ahead and hot glue our jumbo sticks onto the back side of our frame and then I'm going to take my Waverly Antique Wax Paint and I'm just going to give our project a nice good coat. So I have these cute letters. I am going to go ahead and paint them blue and they're going to spell out the word Ahoy. So I know I didn't show you guys, but I did get this spin wheel from Dollar Tree also. It was super cute. It's actually, I believe, for a chime. But I decided to go ahead and incorporate it into this project. Um, there were little holes on them and I actually used like wood filler or something to go through the hole. And then I painted it with my Waverly white chalk paint. And now I'm also going to go ahead and go around uh, what would be, I guess, the wheel of it with my twine. And I'm just going to hot glue it around the outside edge so that it covers that whole ring. And it turns out super, super cute. We're actually doing a like coastal nautical theme in one of our spare bathrooms. And so I'm super excited to see the outcome of this. Uh, once it's fully completed, I'm going to show you guys. But for right now, I just have these three projects that I do plan on putting in there. And I'm super excited to get these completed. Now that we have our spin wheel, what we're going to do now is just go ahead and hot glue our spin wheel onto the bottom part of our project and then we're also going to hot glue the letters Ahoy onto the top. So lastly for this project, we're going to take some nautical rope that I purchased from Dollar Tree and we're just going to hot glue it around the edges of our project. It comes out super cute and it gave it a really nice coastal nautical finish look to it and I just love the outcome of it. Moving on to our second project, I picked up these little wooden blocks from Dollar Tree. Um, I just went ahead and removed that little um, paw print from the middle, which is super cute, but I went ahead and moved it, and um, the wood edge was like, it's 
dirty, but I couldn't clean it. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint over it with some Waverly white chalk paint um, just to give it a nice, pretty white finish to it. Okay, you guys, so I got these little sailboats at Dollar Tree also. Uh, they were super cute. Just like the spin wheel, they were also chimes. But they're super, super cute. And I just really want to incorporate these into my nautical themed bathroom that we're doing. And um, so I just went ahead and put some painter's tape on it where those spots that I want white. And then I just made different kind of designs with the painter's tape. And I'm going to do some of the sail to be blue. And then the other, um, I'm going to end up putting more painter's tape once it dries. And I'm going to use a ocean blue um, also on the sailboat. So I have this cardstock that I'm going to use on this project. I am actually going to Mod Podge it um, underneath and then I'm going to place the cardstock on top of it and then put some more Mod Podge on top. I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos, but I do enjoy Mod Podging things. It is just a fun thing to do. Lastly, we're going to take this little tumbling block that I did get from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use it as like a little riser in between the sailboat and our project. So this is our completed project with the boats. I absolutely love it. Right now, Dollar Tree has so much more like summer and nautical type stuff out right now. What are you guys doing on your projects this summer? I would love to know. Please leave me a comment and let me know. It's just so many things to do and it's so much fun. So for our last project, um, we have these little signs that I picked up from Dollar Tree. They have the cutest little clams on them, but I'm going to remove those because we are going to be using the back side of these um, little decors. I'm going to use some jumbo sticks and I am going to hot glue those down the center um, so that I can glue these two pieces together to create one solid piece. And then I'm going to also, I took some putty and um, I just, to cover up the holes and to kind of give it more of a flush uh, center between the two of them. And then I'm just going to take some sandpaper and um, get the excess of that off once it dries. Now that it's dried and all cleaned up, I'm going to take some white Waverly chalk paint and I'm just going to give it a nice, good, solid coat. So this is where the fun begins. Now that the white chalk paint has dried, we're going to take some painter's tape. And um, I decided to go ahead and make my, um, where it's going to be white, that's going to be underneath just one strip. And then I want to use the two colors, the regular blue and then like the ocean blue. And um, I'm going to make those a little bit wider. So I'm going to put two pieces of tape down, that third tape, that I'm putting on this, or I guess the fourth tape technically, uh, that will be a white line also. So those two in the center, I'm going to remove those because those are going to be a blue color. And then I'm going to do the same thing throughout the top. This is what our piece looks like with the painter's tape on it. Um, now we're going to take our blues and we're going to go ahead and put them on the white lines that's showing. And then I'm going to take a foam brush and I'm just going to go over it and give it a nice good co even coat uh, with our blues.
So the next fun part about using the painter's tape is to remove it. So we're going to remove our painter's tape and it's going to show these beautiful blue white crisp lines. And um, so once we have that, our next part of this project is I got these starfishes from Walmart and I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue them um, onto our piece uh, in the middle towards the bottom. Alright, so lastly for our last project, I decided to go ahead and write the word starfish wishes on the top. I did go ahead, since I'm freehanding it and my penmanship is never good, and um, I took a very uh, light shade of pencil on there and then I went over it with a, um, I believe it's like a white chalk uh, pen marker that I have and uh, it came out super good. Um, I did erase it a couple of times but it finally came out good enough to hang up in my bathroom so I am very well, uh, very much so pleased with the outcome of this project. All right, so those are our three projects for today. I had a lot of fun creating them, and I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you did, make sure to give my video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and let me know which one was your favorite. Until next time, you guys, stay safe out there, and I look forward to seeing you next time. See you soon.